Welcome back. Well, every month seems to have a various cause of which many people want to bring awareness to, and March is no different. On the nutrition side of things, March is National Frozen Food Month. And so how do frozen foods stack up when it comes to nutrition, cost, and taste when you compare that to fresh? So we brought in an expert to get her perspective. Jackie Shank is a nutrition instructor and program director at the University of North Florida. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. So let's talk about some studies first and okay. get perspective on National Frozen Food okay. Month. And then we'll go in and talk about nutrition facts. Okay. And then what people can expect Sounds from getting good. it. Well, I did find a recent study that was done out of Athens, Georgia. So I want to tell you just a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, tell us. Quickly. Go for it. Okay, what they did is uh, their assistants panned out to seven different supermarkets in that area, same supermarkets we have here. They went to the produce section and gathered samples for eight different vitam for eight different products, mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables, and then they went to the frozen section and also got products. They brought the products back to their lab, and what they did is they analyzed immediately on day one those from the fresh produce section. Okay. The frozen food went into frozen storage until those samples were analyzed. And then what they did is out of the fresh samples, they put some, some of those same samples in the refrigerator for five days because they were trying to mimic what we might do sure. in our own home. And so what did they find as a result okay. of all this? Um, there was a lot of data because there were the eight different fruits and vegetables and the three different treatments. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to generalize. Sure. In general, you know, as you might expect, the fresh produce came out um, superior much of the time when you looked Meaning at the, more nutritional more qualities, nutritional qualities okay. for those eight fruits and veg was vegetables. Was it a lot better, or can we? Are you still getting good nutrients out of frozen? Well, we're going to get to that in a minute. Okay. But yeah, but there, <laughs> <laughs> okay. go um, for it. There were some statistically significant differences, and then there were just some higher values that weren't quite significant. So um, I, I think it's what you would expect, that the fresh did pretty well. Okay. And then with regards to um, the held, what they called stored for five days in the refrigerator, which again would mimic kind of what many of us would be doing, there were some problems with that. That's where you started to see Interesting. some lower values compared to the fresh. And so, especially for some really vulnerable produce like blueberries and berries. Really? That, so, yes, for, so happens. fresh fruit, number one, yes. that, followed by frozen. Yes, and then fresh fruit, then being third, that's been in the refrigerator for a while. You've got to be a little conscientious yes. about that. Yes. Actually, with the frozen, um, there were some that came up superior. I have a list here. Um, with the frozen, the green beans fared good, the corn, green peas, blueberries, um, all of those were significant, significantly more um, with one of the nutrients that were studied. So um, some of the, actually some of the frozen food did did fare better okay. in the study. Okay, all right. Where can we find that study, just out of curiosity? Um, Putting you on the spot. Yeah, you'd have to search for it yeah. um, in okay. a search box. Um, Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have, right quickly, up. can we get through some of the products that you have in sure. front of us? I don't know if yeah. we have time to really get into sure. the nutrition label, yeah. but talk about what you, Absolutely. why you brought these yes. in. Yes. Many people prefer just to pick up a frozen dinner or frozen lunch that's all ready to go and are wondering, you know, what the nutritional value is there. Is it good? Yes, you are getting the nutrition in there. Okay. And so we do have the nutrition facts panel on the label which is standardized so any box that you picked up pick up is going to look very similar. Yeah. Um, and so just to point out a couple things in comparing um, these two products which somebody might have for their lunch or dinner there is quite a big a difference. Um, this one's a lot more substantial with I think it's 480 calories, 460 compared to this one which is less than 300. Mm -hmm. So then you would just have to decide, you know, which one are you going to do better with? But I do really... them both at this okay. point. Okay. Right. Right. I mean, for two, yes. so I a lot. That's true. Jackie, thank you for being here. We appreciate okay. you. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, okay. but you can get more information uh, with the uh, UNF Nutrition and Dietetic Program because they have a Facebook page. You can also go to UNF's website. 